So we're here at Mirror Arc back with another video for you future welders out there, okay? This video will be a tutorial on MIG Welding 101. This is the basics of how to get started with MIG welding. Um, I, the question that I get asked all the time is, where do I set my, my voltage? Where do I set my wire speed? Well, today we're gonna find out and I'm gonna go through step by step, kind of how to find that sweet spot between your voltage and your wire speed. Let's get started. Today we're welding on a Miller 24A wire feeder. Um, so we, we have it set to the settings that we like, but again, this is for beginners to kind of find that sweet spot of where you want to get started. So let's bring everything down to zero, right? This just like straight fresh from like turning the machine on, right? We're gonna bring everything down to zero and let's find a random abstract number, right? Any number. Boom, we're just going to any number, right? Let's hit it here. So we went 600 on the wire speed and, and 23 on the voltage, all right? Just random numbers. Let's see what happens. So as you can see, I tried to uh, MIG weld with the wire speed turned way up to 600 and what well, we have 23 on the voltage and you you saw what happened for yourself the gun is actually kicking back in my hand the wire speed cannot catch up to the voltage it's not melting fast enough so now you just got wire dumping out before it actually can start the, the, the puddle process, the melting process. So let's see what happens when we adjust that. Ultimately, our goal is to try to find a balance between voltage and wire speed, all right? So let's see what happens when we go the complete opposite way. Let's go way up on the voltage and way down on the wire speed and see what happens. So we're gonna do the complete opposite. We're gonna come to, let's say two on the wire speed and let's go to six on the voltage. So we went to uh, 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 60 on the wire speed and we went down to 200 on the voltage and let's see what happens. And as you can see, it's way too much voltage and the wire speed cannot even keep up with how fast it's, it's melting back. So it was, we went way high on the voltage and we came down low on the wire speed. We came down to 200 on the wire speed and right now we're at six, uh, 60 on the voltage, all right? Ultimately, what we're trying to do is find a balance. We're trying to find a consistent burn. And when you get that consistent burn and that consistent puddle, what you're doing, you're listening for, there's, there will be like a buzz. Um, if you heard the sound of the splatter, of the pop-in sound, it basically, it, it, the wire speed was not feeding into the puddle enough. So let's try to look for that balance someplace. Again, we don't have no numbers that we're going at. We're just trying to find some sort of balance that is, is a puddle that we can control, we can manipulate, and it's consistent. So we're gonna try to find uh, uh, more of a balance that we may be familiar with. Let's go, let's go 400 on a wire speed, all right? And let's go, let's say 30 volts. 400 on wire speed, 30 volts. Let's see what happens. There she go. That's what I'm looking for. That, that consistent buzzing sound. I can really see that puddle wetting into the top and bottom plate. 
as I do my cursive ease, really washing that puddle into the top and bottom plate. Hey, I know you love this video, but please do me a huge favor, like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Let's get back to work. As you can see, the, the toe of this, this well bead, all right? That's where this, the toe of the well bead is where the well bead actually fuses into the bottom plate and it actually fuses into the top plate. It's a nicely blend, blended in. I have nice heat, nice consistency. Uh, the moves that I'm actually making is a cursive E. I'm basically making an E over and over, overlapping back into the puddle, overlapping back into the puddle, dragging it out, overlapping back into the puddle. And again, the voltage and the wire speed, I really don't get too caught up into that. I just know, I know when, I'm, when I have too much, too many volts, and I know when my wire speed is too high. Again, when the wire speed is too high, you're gonna feel the gun start to kick back. You're gonna feel uh, uh, it kind of stabs into the plate. Uh, when my voltage is too high, it's gonna burn back before it actually, before the wire even touched the base metal, it's gonna burn back. So what you're trying to find is a balance Everyone has different numbers that they like working at, all right? When you find that perfect balance and you hear that consistent buzzing sound in your welding, what you do, especially if you work in, like, let's say if you're working at like a, a fabrication shop or a place where other, other coworkers may use your machine, what you do is pull your phone out and take a picture of your settings. Take a picture of, of where you have your wire speed versus where your, your voltage is. And that way you could come in, if somebody fiddled with the machine and you could go right back to work without actually trying to find where you would place that. Um, that's my takeaway. Uh, lastly, I'm gonna show you guys how I move to be able to lay down a consistent bead. And again, I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm pretty much just doing cursive ease, just going in a circle cursive ease. I'll show you real quick. Basically cursive ease, and I'm just making circles, pushing back into the puddle, pushing back into the puddle. There you have it, future welders. That's my quick tutorial, my 101 on MIG welding. Again, uh, uh, find that balance between voltage and wire speed. Understand what happens. Keep, keep playing with the, those, those settings until you find where you can control the puddle and you can, you can lay down a slick bead, all right? It's practice, practice, practice. Uh, lastly, again, all I do is cursive ease. I'm making circles going like this, constantly down the plate. That's all you gotta do. Keep practicing, keep at it. If you need some help, uh, uh, come to Merrick Welding Academy. We are here for you guys. www.trainawa.com. See you on the next one.